So, uh, it all dried up. Uh, yeah, looks good. Let's do the soldering a bit, and this is kind of a... Uh, yeah, this is uh, tacked down pretty well. Let's start with the tweeter wire, if I can get them loose. I hope so, because without breaking them... Okay, so these are the wires. Uh, I add some glue to some um, random uh, copper cloth PCB material. There is glue on this stuff already, so uh, this is actually a 0.5 millimeter PCB, which is really nice. You can just uh, cut it by uh, scissors. So I'm gonna just so, uh, cut some small pieces. We have to go to the glue side on the wire, of course. They all ended with the glue down. Okay. Let's see if this works because I have the glue. So I'll add this here and one uh, here, somewhere here. push them down. Now this is the tricky bit. I got my uh, Weller um, soldering iron and now this is supposed to be solderable aluminum wire but this one probably works but this uh, other color, the, this goldish color wire it's not visible but the base wires they're not that solderable uh, at all somehow. So I'll just gonna make a tiny pool of solder on the PCB first. Just gonna add some here. Just some here. Gonna put the wire somewhere to run the speed. Like that. Something like this. And now I got the different fluxes. I got this uh, normal flux for PCB and stuff. And I got this, I have no clue how to pronounce flux. And this is supposed to be for aluminum. And it does work. You can solder aluminum with it. Which is really nice. But it's also uh, eating up your, uh, your, um, <laughs> your soldering iron. So it's not very healthy stuff probably. But it does work. But I think I'll try this first without any of the fluxes. Or maybe just the normal flux. Because it's not that harmful. Let's see. Just slide it on the wire and the PCB and then let it see what else. Probably has got some more solar to it. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it comes off, of course. Probably has to make it quite a lot to be done. I'm afraid it's an isolation layer. Might need something to hold the slides down. I don't see actually soldering happening here. It's more like... Becoming really ugly. That's the only thing I see happening right now. Let's try the crappy uh, aluminum flux, which doesn't have a brush, which is annoying, so I have to get some Q-tips. Not sure what all the shit is, what's on the wire. What's all this? Crap. See if it. Well, it is hot, that's for sure. Yeah, this isolation is in the way. If I just scrape it a little bit, it does it higher. Okay. So that's not the best looking solo joint, that's for sure. We'll measure it. If it did make a good solder joint it doesn't look it doesn't look nice that's for sure we can agree on that it might be the glue that there's still some glue left Something very nice. the other one I'm gonna strip the glue off first I think
Okay, uh, this is gonna be uh, an another try. Hopefully it looks better. Um, I removed the glue. And now hopefully we uh, are able to just use the normal flux. I, I mean it says solderable aluminum wire on the package. Doesn't mean it actually is, but I sure do hope so. So, adding normal flux, no uh, aluminum fancy stuff. See how it goes. Ah, you can see that hires to the copper <laughs> around the copper actually. <laughs> well, on the copper, but it doesn't add higher to the full aluminum. Although it says it does, but might need a higher temperature. Doesn't look that good. I need massive some massive amounts of solar to ah this eats the stuff alive. It's bubbling. Let's see what it does now. That looks much better. So uh, apparently I need to get rid of the isolation by heating it up pretty hard and then still have to use the aluminum flux which is too bad but okay if that's the way it is it okay with me so I'm gonna just heat this up with some solar hop up hop let's see if this uh, idea is true I'm gonna add some of the salt of the flux, the nasty stuff. It's still a bit too hot. Okay. Then hit it again with some solar. It's not clean, but it does look look a little bit better, and it flows pretty nicely. So let's see what we got on the resistance scale. Let's see if I can uh, get it in frame somewhere. So the tweeter wires are 3.4 ohms. That's good. That's uh, that's good. This is nine. That's rather high. It shouldn't be nine. Okay, so there's either a bad connection or I fucked a calculation somewhere. Let's uh, do the other one, see if it get the same result, and it's just uh, the amount of turns. So uh, they're all uh, on there, but there is one slight problem, as uh, shown, uh, I'll ratio up a little bit. So this solderable wire is not that solderable and it becomes pretty messy, that's uh, too bad, and the glue is interfering as well. That's one thing, but then another problem, or it's not actually a problem, but Tweeter, 3.3, that's nice. This one is 3.45. 3.3, okay, they're, so they're the same. It's just that uh, this is a bit corroded. Then the base wires, 8.5, 8.5, and the other one is 8.5, 5, 8.56, somewhere in this region. Okay, that's not what I calculated. So, <laughs> as something went wrong with the magnets, 
I guess there is <laughs> the same thing going wrong with the amount of turns. Even with two magnets less, I end up with uh, two ohms more resistance than I planned. So this project I started earlier, then did nothing, then started sort of over, and uh, apparently I mixed mixed them up. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, so there are eight ohms the base wires right now. I'm just gonna check what it does. If it's not loud enough, I can just because there is these wires go twice this route and go back do it again I'll cut them loose and I'll do them parallel and then uh, we got four ohms but uh, on the other hand having more turns uh, gives the end the same result in the loudness so uh, yeah might as well leave it as is but let's first, I'm first gonna check it, see what it does. So I'm gonna attach some wires here so we um, don't have to fiddle around on these pads anymore. So I don't, so I'm not able to destroy a wire by accident. So I'm gonna attach some um, stuff and uh, then it's playtime. So actually, I am going uh, to uh, yeah, kill some of these uh, test leads. They were the cheapest versions I could find. And uh, it's nice to have some sort of uh, way of plugging in stuff and not being uh, fucking around with uh, loose wires and such. So I'm gonna cut them and then I'm uh, gonna solder them to the pad so I got some solid way of attaching uh, filter components and stuff and just use test leads all over the place because I like them. Oh no! <laughs> ah, fucking hell! That never happened before. Cut it straight into my finger and then solidified somehow. Yep. Yeah. 